What changed? Five holes. Five holes. So the angle between the holes is going to change. What else changed? Their position. The diameter of the ball circle changed. So your radius is going to be different. And the rotate angle changed. The angle to the first hole is now only five degrees. So step one, what is step one? Label. Draw Cartesian coordinates. Draw the Cartesian coordinate system. From the center of the circle. And label your reference lines. So we've got the horizontal axes that's representing x, and the vertical axes that is representing y. Hole to the right is labeled as 5 degrees. 5 degrees from where? Center. At center line, 0. Draw your reference lines. Draw a line from the center to the center of each hole. What do we know about that line? It's, five degrees. it's a radius. From the center of the circle to the edge, Rotating it's a radius. So what is the diameter? Eight, so the radius is going to be four. Calculate the angle between the holes, 360 divided by 5. Do you want the answer in minutes, seconds? Degrees. Minutes one. and seconds. The answer is in thousands. X and Y, both of them. 60 um, by it's half the oh, diameter of 8. 72. Uh, so from hole number 1. Hole number two, 72 degrees. So how far is hole number two from zero? 72 plus five, 77 degrees. How far is it from hole three? to zero. 72, uh, sorry, yes, 72, 72, and then five. So, so that gives us 149. 149 degrees. And we're basically just adding 72 to each hole as you go around. Because each hole is 72 degrees from each other. So 149 plus 72 gives you 221 plus 72 again, and you've got 293. So draw your Cartesian coordinate system, label the reference lines, calculate the angle, 360 divided by 5. And then calculate how far each hole is from zero. John, how did you get uh, 72 degrees? 360 divided by the number of holes. So how many holes do we have? Five. 360 divided by five, 72 degrees. Mm -hmm. Draw a line from the center of the circle to the center of each hole. That gives you the radius. 
take the diameter divided by 2, that gives us 4. Now draw a line from the center of each hole to one of the reference lines. So hole number one, create our triangle by drawing a vertical line. Hole number two, what do you want to do? Draw it across. Or do you want to draw it straight down? It doesn't matter, right? Makes no difference. If this angle here is 13, then this angle here is 77. Same difference. All three. All four. Five. So draw a line from the center of each hole, either vertically or horizontally, to one of the reference lines that we created in the first step. That forms a right angle triangle. Now we just got to calculate the angle inside that triangle. First, you're going to label your sides, hypotenuse, and opposite. Have the angles yet. Create the angles. Oh, so right. Have right. the reference angle. First, so you got to create a reference angle first and then label the sides. So we went from this line to this line. So 90 minus 77 gives you 13. Yeah, 13. Hole 4. We've got 180 and 149. 31. 31. 31 degrees. Hole 4, we got 221 and 270. Minus 60. 40. Oh, wait, 60. Remember, you can't have a negative angle. You have a negative angle in a triangle. Yeah, it's How does that work? It was 221. What else? 270. Into negative 49. Yeah. Can't yeah. have a negative I mean, angle yeah. in a triangle. So, so I'll do the bigger number minus the smaller. Oh, number. okay. 270? 270 minus 221. 49. 49 degrees. And then 293 to 270. You know, 23. 23 degrees. And now we can just get our. We so can now label. you can label the opposite <coughs> and the adjacent. So the first problem. Opposite is all the way to the zero. Hypotenuse is where opposite. the four. The hypotenuse is where the four is. And the adjacent is at the bottom. Thirteen is the reference angle, so we got opposite. Hypotenuse. And adjacent. Thirty-one is the reference angle, so we've got opposite. Mm -hmm. And adjacent. Forty-nine degrees opposite. Twenty-three degrees gives us the opposite. So, what are the only two formulas you're going to use? Sine of the angle or cosine of the angle times hypotenuse. Cosine of the angle. So what do you need to make sure of? You put the X and the Y correctly, and 
Put the negative sign if you need it. So pole one and pole two are both in which quadrant? Quadrant one, they're both going to be positive numbers. All you're going to do is sign five times four. Three, and that gives you which axis? The X, right? The opposite, the line, that's going left to right, mm -hmm. this line here. Mm -hmm. The opposite is going left to right. Oh, the, oh the, yeah. No, no. Well, the opposite is drawn Y. Yeah, this way. So it's, it's, it's Y. So it's Y. So it's the Y axis. The y axis. That's what I'm saying you've got to understand what axis you're working at. So if the line is vertical, it's giving you the Y axis. If the line is horizontal, it's giving you the X axis. So the opposite is. So the opposite is vertical, so that is. Y. What do we got? 3, 4, 8, 6. 348,000, 6 tenths. Cosine 5 times 4. 3 inches, 984,008 tenths. So in hole number 2. What does the opposite give you? It gives you the x axis. Right? The opposite doesn't always give you the y. It just depends on what quadrant. But look, is that line vertical or is it horizontal? For each hole? Yeah. So we're calculating how far is this hole from zero. So at the bottom of the page, it says rotate angle, right? That is the angle to hole number one. So from zero to hole number one, it tells you you've got five degrees. When we do the 360 divided by the number of holes, that tells us the distance from hole one to hole two. That was 72. So hole two would have to be 72 plus five to get to zero. Word. So hole three, how far is it to hole two? 72 degrees. Every hole is 72 degrees from each other. Right? So how far is hole 2 from hole 1? Still 72 degrees. So now you've got 72, 72. And how far is it to the 0? 5. Five. So add them all together. It's hole like 3 is 149 degrees from the 0. Because it's going by that Cartesian We're coordinate. Going from our zero reference line. Yeah, re reference line. So you're always either adding whatever it is, in this case, five degrees. So once you've got hole one, you just add in that calculation to every hole, 360 divided by five in this case. So five plus 72, plus another 72, plus another 72, until you've done all the holes. But since we already did the other calculation where we divided the, uh, the radius to four, that's why you're